This video outlines how to use the ANSYS 2023 app on your desktop. I'm going to start by explaining how to search using keywords, names, tracks, and more. There are different items that you can search for on the ANSYS 2023 app, including author name, paper name, track, location, session name, and keyword. Starting from the home screen, you can search for people, sponsors, and exhibitors only in the search bar. This type of search is not case sensitive. The more helpful type of search is within the program itself, where you can find an author, session chair, paper, and more. You will start by clicking on the program icon. With this type of search, spelling must be correct. Now I'm going to go through five different scenarios. Scenario one. Say I am a session chair and want to find the time and room of my session. I would start by clicking on the Open Advanced Search Options text and then type your first name or surname into the speaker field and then click Search. An important note, when you do multiple searches, please make sure to clear filters after each search in order to ensure that you are keeping your search options open. Doing this will allow you to search across days, tracks, authors, and more. Scenario two, you can also search within the app if you or a colleague is an author. You can do this by searching by first name, surname, or both in the keyword field. In scenario three, this is when you would know your paper title, but not the time and location in which you are presenting. We recommend searching part of your paper title in the keyword field. I am going to use the word metaverse as an example. I want to note that this year there will be two spotlight sessions. The spotlight is on papers deemed to be among the top 25% of submitted papers and are organized by SIGs or tracks. Take the opportunity and attend these sessions, which offer a glimpse of the high-quality papers AMSYS 2023 has to offer. See what your colleagues are doing, learn what top AMSYS papers look like, and find your community. Spotlight sessions will be live-streamed, so you can check them out whether you will be in-person or virtual. Scenario 4. If you would like to search all of the sessions taking place on a single day, you may do so by selecting on any of the date bubbles below the filter sessions area to narrow down your search. Furthermore, you can search by track by selecting your track of choice from all of the tracks drop down on the far right. The fifth and final scenario. If you know the title of the session, you can search for this in the first field labeled session title. You will need to know the exact title with the correct word order and spelling in order to pull up the session this way. In the next part of this video, I am going to explain how to build your own personal schedule. In order to make your own schedule, you will first need to search through the conference program to find and select sessions that you are interested in attending. You can do this by clicking on the program icon and then selecting the gray calendar symbol with a plus sign. Once you add the session to your personal schedule, the icon will turn blue and have a check mark. This is how you will be able to keep track of what sessions you have added at a quick glance. As you go through and add sessions to your personal schedule, the app will notify you if you try to add a session that is taking place at the same time as another. Please be mindful of this. Once you click the sessions you want to attend, click My Schedule on the left-hand side of your screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to print the program. An important note. If you have not already built your own personal schedule, you will need to watch the video How to Build Your Own Personal Schedule First and Prior to Printing. Please refer to the link in the description for this video. In the AIS Conferences mobile app, you are able to print your specific schedule for AMSYS 2023. You will start by clicking on the My Schedule icon on the home screen of the app or the menu on the left. After this, on the right-hand side, you will see the text, My Schedule, and three symbols. Click on the printer icon. In the next part of this video, I am going to show you how to connect with other attendees with your profile, the social feed, and more. The first way to engage with other attendees is to set up your profile. 
To do this, you will start by clicking on the My Account icon. From here, you can add your job title, location, a brief bio, and your social media accounts if you choose to do so. For a brief bio, we recommend that you include what career stage you are in, whether that is first year doctoral student, early career professor, retired professor, etc. And you can also include your research area. Once you set this part of your profile up, we recommend adding a profile photo, which you can do so by clicking on Add, Update, Profile Picture at the top. An additional networking feature within the app is posting messages in the social feed. In the social feed, you can ask questions and post files, including documents, PowerPoint slides, YouTube videos, and more. We encourage you to use hashtags to find topics that you have in common with other attendees. You can also like and comment on other attendees' posts. This concludes the tutorial on the AMSYS 2023 desktop app. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful time in Panama.